So we are at the point where we have an, at least an, equa uh, an equation, but actually we have two equations. One is the transport of uh, a, a, a vapor transpiration in turbo, uh, through turbulence, of uh, let's say the transport of water vapor through turbulence, and the other one is the transport of <coughs> heat through turbulence, which is the temperature, which is, as we'll see, useful here. Is to, uh, this is l'infinito di by Leopardi as 200 years was written to exactly 200, 200 years ago. So these are our laws. Our laws, the first on top is the uh, heat, uh, the what is called the sensible heat transport. Oh, the name that uh, we use in, in uh, thermodynamics are more or less <coughs> old. They derive from the 19th century, where we didn't have a, maybe a complete knowledge of, uh, of what is going on. But even if someone had, Gibbs for sure knew it all. And uh, but you know, we have still. Uh, theories around that uh, suggested the names on what, on what we call the things today, so that is a sensible it, for whatever it means sensible in this case, on top. And uh, uh, the one highlighted we in yellow is the uh, evapotranspiration transpiration formula that uh, we found a few minutes ago with a lot of, simplific a lot of simplification, and this is the in the coefficient that the, the uh, that we need the coefficient uh, okay this is a, this is another thing yet but we will take into account uh, later okay no I say I say now here we put a CE in in a T which is different from C uh, by assuming that uh, 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 Everything uh, in this case uh, uh, behaves like uh, uh, in electricity, meaning that uh, we have this C here, which is that one that derived from my aerodynamic resistance. With one over C is, if you remember, is RA, the aerodynamic resistance, and uh, the action of uh, if you have evapora evaporation or transpiration from any other source. We have further resistance that, uh, that we can add in series. So resistance add. And this is the resistance. I put a V here, and meaning that maybe is vegetation, but I could have put and the G like uh, grounded uh, by meaning that uh, that, re that resistance here could be vegetation or the soil resistance. In any case, it for now, is just a coefficient. We have other equations in any case where evapotranspiration or evaporation is included. The first one is the energy budget. The energy budget here is a considered a stationary thing meaning that uh, we have RS, where uh, uh, with RS, uh, here, here I call, uh, you can think it is uh, the solar direct radiation. We talked about radiation yesterday. But you can feel also uh, in place of RS, you can put RN, which is the net radiation in this case, and nothing changed. Depends on the type of problem you are facing and the, uh, what part, uh, what component of radiation is important for you. And on the other side, we have the, uh, uh, here there is a, a small error actually because I put ET, which is a evaporation, latent it in this case. But I should have put lambda ET, which is where lambda is the um, enthalpy of, of vaporization or the um, the amount uh, amount of uh, uh, work for unit degree that we do in transforming uh, water from uh, liquid to vapor. 
plus H. H is the uh, sensible heat, and uh, RLL is the uh, long wave radiation. Actually, here uh, I separated the long wave radiation. Uh, in the budget of uh, the, in the energy budget here, uh, a term is missing, and is the there is not time dependence here because I, as I already uh, told you at the beginning, we assume here that uh, we can uh, describe the system as a a sequence of uh, uh, stationary states. Uh, this means, uh, this doesn't mean actually that, uh, uh, this means that in the budget actually that is the variation of the energy content in, uh, in the control volume per unit times, so that this here is neglected. But actually it doesn't mean that it is really neglected. It means that, uh, for instance, it is instantaneous, meaning we have radiation hitting the the apple, instantaneously the apple uh, put in, equilibrium, in thermal equilibrium or a, in energy equilibrium with the, with the radiation it is receiving. If we have the a storage of, uh, of energy, the, sto the effect of storage of energy is delaying the, uh, the, the, the apple uh, we have a transient where the apple is uh, receiving energy that uh, is not in equilibrium with the environment because it's giving back radiation uh, due, to it, 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 due to its temperature. And uh, instead we say, okay, this uh, equili uh, gain in this equilibrium is taking some time. <coughs> Here we assume that this is instantaneous. Okay, and uh, we have the sensible heat uh, there, but uh, you can notice here that we corrected the sensible heat. This is uh, mostly due to a paper by Szymanski and Or, Szymanski and Or, uh, of one, one, more or less one year ago, 2017. Okay, now we are 2019, let's say a couple of years ago. And uh, because they say, okay, if we are doing the budget on a surface, it's correct to take one as the factor A. a but if we are uh, having a leaf, a leaf is like this one, the leaf is, uh, uh, is uh, dissipating heat from this side and also this side. So we have twice the surface. Why a leaf at the same time is also uh, transpirating, but a, a, a leaf is trans transpirating usually from just from one side, not from the two sides. So it is required to put that a, a to keep into account of this fact here. And this changing quite, quite a bit the equations. So, to sum what we did today, we have the first equation, which is the vapor transpiration equation in uh, turbulence, uh, <coughs> turbulence. Uh, eventually with some stressor, which is uh, inside the CE. Uh, we have the energy budget. Uh, and uh, uh, I already uh, told you what uh, the energy, in which kind of energy budget you have there. And here you have the, uh, the sensible heat exchange with this A here, which makes the difference between previous approaches. So, uh, and what is the, the, the stuff you I sign in blue? The stuff I sign in blue, more or less, is what can be considered the independent variable of this system, meaning the delta in the, uh, specific humidity, cost, uh, where the star means that uh, is uh, actually the humidity and the, equi the, equi uh, the equilibrium humidity, meaning the, 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 equilibri the, um, the humidity that you have in air when uh, um, the the air is in equilibrium with the uh, liquid below it. 
uh, is also uh, called saturation uh, saturation humidity but it doesn't mean that the, the air is full of water because actually the molecules are very uh, far apart it's not like the soil or a or a tank which is filled of water when it's saturated of water in, in this case and Q is the uh, Q actually is the actual humidity and position at the 8Z from, uh, from, from some reference at the same time here you have AT as a, uh, okay AT we already see is another independent variable H is another variable and the other variable here can be the difference in temperature between the, surface, the, uh, the zero surface and the elevation Z so we have four variables the four variables uh, E, T, H, delta, delta Q and delta T if you want to call it this way and we have just three equations though four variables, three equations no answers the great idea from uh, Penman in 94 was to add a, these four equations says okay we need the four equation which is this four equation this four, the four equations the fourth equation is uh, that we can develop the specific humidity in Z0 at saturation uh, in uh, around the temperature of air you say it is equal to the saturation humidity uh, depending on temperature at 8Z remind that here we are in Z0 at the surface uh, the first derivative of uh, the Q star over the T estimated for T in T Z in Z time T Z zero minus T uh, T Z which is the difference of the two temperatures on the surface and uh, at eight Z plus all the terms of the Taylor expansion that follows. So this is an approximation. Fortunately, in this equation, we know what the derivative of the Q star over the T is because uh, uh, at equilibrium, and we already say that the star means that there is a water vapor at equilibrium with, this, with the water surface be below it, or anyway, uh, uh, what usually we call at saturation. Uh, is, uh, it can be obtained exactly because uh, when uh, the water vapor is in equilibrium is at its maximum is, a, 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 is at, this, at this maximum value is described by an equation which is called clausius clapeyron equation uh, which I am not deriving here but of which I, I give the, the, the relation here the, I give the relation here which is a function just of temperature in Kelvin no, here in centigrade okay and you see it. so we know essentially this derivative which is epsilon divided by P times delta where delta is given by this formula nice move the payment paper just to say the payment paper is the only one hydrological paper that appear uh, in Scientific American meaning of the whole hydrology which is a bunch of questions important for life in, in uh, <coughs> uh, important for life on the earth the only hydrological uh, topic that uh, 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 went to Scientific American meaning a general work of, on science that uh, in general journal of, of science that goes to communicate to the layman to the lay 
booming also. <laughs> what what happened? Uh, is a, a payment work. So it was a really a nice a nice idea. And uh, okay. Uh, so um, here instead of Q, I am using the partial pressure. So I am redefining it. But uh, I, you know, I also define this quantity, which is A star zero minus A zero equal A star Z minus A Z, and I call this delta A Z. <coughs> uh, from the top one, I just subtracted a z to both of them. With the idea that this is the uh, difference in, in air of the uh, humidity that this is existing there actually and the equilibrium, and the equilibrium um, uh, contains in partial pressure in this case, but obviously the formula is almost the, is the same in the uh, term of humidity. <coughs> and this is the what is called atmospheric demand. Meaning that if in the atmosphere we are not at equilibrium, so we can push more we can push more uh, humidity in the atmosphere and uh, the quantity the, on average that we can push is this one. So say that uh, we have defined as delta for convenience. Uh, we also redefine T delta and, and A delta as those, those two quantity, quantities. And so our equations finally are from this one. OK, this comes this one. There are a couple of slides more than required. So these are our four equations in four unknown. The unknown are T delta, A delta, mm -hmm. H, and A, T. So uh, <coughs> besides all, all these equations are linear equations in, in, uh, in these four quantities, we have we learn to solve linear equations at the high school, maybe before. I don't know. I don't remember. So, so times ago, I am forgetting when I learned it. That was really long time ago. And in particular, we can uh, uh, work on, on them for substitu substitution. So, I start to. To t I take the expression of the EAT, I put on the uh, energy budget. Let's see, I already substitute here and here. Then I move uh, the energy budget, budget a little down, and then I substitute the sensible heat also in the energy budget. And so I move uh, even down, and I substitute also the uh, e, delta, e delta in the energy budget. And what happens here is that the people fall <laughs> <laughs> and Newton finds the gravitational law. No. <laughs> no, and here we find that T delta, that is all, all, all the stuff here is on the variable T delta. So we can solve from T delta here, then I eat it. And uh, uh, there are uh, a few other passages to do to get the full picture, but I left to you at home. <laughs> <laughs> so, but the final result is this one. So T delta has this expression on top, which is uh, the, then I will go commenting at least for evapotranspiration. C is is the uh, Conductance or the resistances uh, or the inverse of resistance for eva evapotranspiration. C is the uh, the, the, evapotra the conductance for the momentum transfer. Delta is the uh, 
delta is the derivative of the Clausius Campeiron equation, and gamma was defined as Cp times P divided epsilon, epsilon uh, lambda, which is called psychonometric constant which is not constant at all, obviously. As, uh, usually, oh, a lot of constants here are not really, <laughs> really constant, <laughs> starting from von Karman. But what is important to, uh, uh, to, to have from this formula is that uh, 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 what we did was we take four equations in four unknown and we solve them, and we have as a result, above transpiration, sensible heat, the, the delta of T and the delta of A, of E. So, that's because, I, and so uh, we know all of it when we solve these equations, and we, in the hypothesis that uh, we did, uh, we know all these quantities, temperature, uh, vari uh, difference of temperature be between air and the surface, different of uh, uh, water con content from the surface and air, uh, sensible heat transfer and latent heat transfer. The four of them, not just one of them. In the, u in the normal presentation uh, of uh, uh, Pema Montis equations, this was not evident at all, even it was there. In, uh, because uh, people were just presenting this equation here. And uh, so for years, myself, I don't know, maybe others smarter than me, less dumb than me, uh, uh, realized that it, this was also implying the solution of the other equations. But we are actually solving all, the, all these four equations. So that's the message for this part here. What is the latent head uh, part in this equation? The latent head part is the, the vapor transpiration. Okay, but but it multipl oh, but multiplied by lambda, which is the, uh, the uh, latent heat means, okay, you know the f the what is the most famous equation? may be the most famous equations in physics. Most famous equation in physics is, is questionable. There are many famous, but one is entirely E equal mc squared, okay? This means that mass is equal to energy at a certain level. But it, this is true also here because uh, uh, internal energy of a certain body is equal to uh, something we call, for let's say, uh, small, okay, let's say the CPT. There is some content due to uh, to temperature, and this is thermal capacity plus one thing that they usually call H, but let's write a strange H here which is the enthalpy, okay, the enthalpy of the system. And this is, uh, uh, this represents the fact that, that a, a certain material is in a certain phase. For instance, it's liquid, solid, or things. And so there is an internal arrangement of uh, the, the energy that uh, accounts for it. So uh, when if we put here, for instance, we have, so say, gu, vapor, 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 then, okay. Water, water, water. So if we have two phases inside, the sum of the energy is the sum of the two. And we have uh, a part of the energy which, which is internal energy which is due to the part which is water and part which is vapor. And when you transform from the state from the other, you have the, the difference between two, these two things, uh, which is an amount of energy which is transferred 
from somewhere to the, uh, the chemical structure of the thing. And this is actually, the difference is actually, for, for unit, the difference for unit mass is actually lambda. So that's the latent, <laughs> meaning it, it actually is a latent energy, latent energy that is over there. 